Not a lot of fans left here in Kansas City. San Diego is trying to make a late charge against the Chiefs and keep their slim playoff hopes alive. Rivers throws it away with 1.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. And the Chiefs in front of San Diego 21 to 10. And now they have to decide exactly if they want to go for the touchdown or if a field goal would do two possessions. It's about what you need. Well, either way, they're going to have to get a combination of a field goal and a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Obviously, they have to then execute the onside kick either way. But the feeling for most coaches, once you get down this deep, you want the touchdown. Rivers throws and caught. Now comes Floyd, thrown down inside the five by Bernard Pollard. Clock is moving, a minute 40. And ticking. It'll be first and goal just inside the five-yard line for San Diego. They still have a full complement of timeouts to work with. Burning a lot of time on the clock. Working out of the gun. Rivers. Looking. Throws. Low throw. Incomplete. Chris Chambers the intended target. And it stops the clock with a minute 19 left. He went over to the strong side of the formation. He had the numbers on the back side over to the weak side near Vincent Jackson. Way over on this side, that's where you have the numbers game. Look at the red jerseys con converge on that pass as it's attempted, maybe thrown in the ground, but was attempted for Chris Chambers. I think Phillip Rivers did the right thing for throwing that ball into the ground. Okay, no problem. Rivers padding his numbers here in the fourth quarter. Desperation mode for San Diego. Shotgun. Rivers throwing, and the floater is caught by Floyd. Touchdown, San Diego. So the Chargers still alive. They'll go for two with a minute 13 left. It's 21-16, Kansas City. How about Phillip Rivers hanging in there on this throw? <laughs> he has bought as much time as he could and just threw a nice little lofted pass to the back of the end zone where he finds Malcolm Floyd. First meeting was November the 9th. San Diego won it at home. 20 to 19. Chiefs went for a two-point try with 29 seconds left and failed. The previous play is under review. Well, hold up. Was it a clean catch by Malcolm Floyd? This is an official's review. Neither coach challenged it. Under two minutes, coaches can't challenge. And a little flip. Yeah, that, that's a catch. How, how, did you, how did you figure maybe it wasn't a catch? I, I think it's clearly a catch for a touchdown. Maybe the nose of that ball may have touched the ground, but can't quite see it from that angle or from that one. You know, anything we've seen has still shown catch. That's not the ball moving underneath there. After review, the call on the field stands. Touchdown. Okay, then. The Chargers will have a two-point try here with a minute 13 left. They still have all their timeouts remaining, but that's really not the issue right now. The issue simply have to execute here and then execute the onside kick. Playoff hopes hang in the balance for the Chargers. Chambers goes in motion. Out of the gun. Rivers looking, throwing up top, and incomplete over the head of Chambers. And that will just about do it. Obviously, they'll try the onside kick. If they can recover that, then they'll find second life here today in Kansas City. It's all about the pressure. They tried to cut the middle linebacker who was coming in on the blitz. Watch LaDainey and Tomlinson attempting to cut Derek Johnson. But the pressure in the face of the quarterback forces a high throw from Phillip Rivers. For Kansas City, and it's Kevin Robinson. We'll see what Cypher's approach is here. If he kicks it directly at Kansas City, he loops it up in the air and up for grabs. Oh, it popped loose! It popped loose! And San Diego claims they've got it. 
it appeared Kansas City had the football. And the Chargers are coming out of the pile, pointing in the other direction. Here in blue ball, San Diego recovers with a minute 13 left. Cyphers has done his job. There was a Kansas City Chiefs who had an opportunity to make the catch. Appears though he made the grab. There you see right there, came to the ground, ball knocked out. At Dwayne Bow, who had it. And once he was hit, they were able to knock the ball loose. So Dwayne Bow could not secure it. And the Chargers are still alive with three timeouts at a minute 13 on the clock. The Broncos taking on Carolina today. I think if you're the Chiefs defensively, you've got to be aware the Chargers can throw the ball. On the game clock, please. 111. So they'll put 111 on the game clock. Yeah, the Chargers can't throw the ball over the middle of the field because they do have three remaining timeouts. Normally in that two-minute drill, teams are trying to throw the ball toward the sideline where you can catch it and then get out of bounds to stop the clock. So got to protect the middle of the field. Low snap, Rivers handles it. Out of the gun, throwing a deep ball right out of the gate. Vincent Jackson, he's got it inside the 20. Patrick Sotan over in coverage. Completely lose sight and position on the play against Vincent Jackson. First charge timeout in San Diego, a 30-second timeout. So the Chargers use a timeout after the long pass play, Rivers to Jackson. Number 23, Patrick Sertan, he jumps on the shorter route ran by Antonio Gates. See, he drops coverage and allows Vincent Jackson to get behind him, turns him loose. Only Jared Page is over there and he's able to make the tackle but not able to get over the top in time to prevent the catch. 55 seconds remaining. The San Diego Chargers with an opportunity here to pull a rabbit out of the hat. They had no business to be in this position. Clearly had lost momentum. But some of the looks on the faces of the players kind of told you everything. Even they thought that this game was on life support. Out of the shotgun and dropped by Tomlinson. 51 seconds remaining. Second and 10 for San Diego. Yep, just got to make this catch. And <laughs> you can see Tomlinson was trying to run with it before he was able to grab it. He's frustrated with himself. Something tells me he's going to get another shot at it. Close games, neither team has fared well. Kansas City has found ways to lose this season in a 2-11 and 11 campaign. Once again, out of the gun, Rivers steps up, and Rivers is going to carry it himself. Phillip Rivers at the 10-yard line. Just shy of the first down mark. And they'll use a timeout with 38 seconds remaining. One timeout left for San Diego. You know, they spot the football right at the 10. Very close to a first down for the Chargers. This is a situation this Kansas City Chiefs team has been in so many situations this year. I think they've lost four games on the final play of the game. So if you just check this spot to see if he was able to hit this first down marker, I think he just may end up just a little bit short. See, he's got to get beyond the 10-yard line, and the ball hit just short of it. They just put two more seconds on the clock. 40 seconds remaining, and third and less than a yard for San Diego. They trail 21 to 16. Fake the handoff. Rivers throwing. Open man. Jackson. Touchdown, San Diego. A desperate rally by the Chargers to keep their playoff hopes alive. Incredible. 
Chargers lead 22 to 21 with 36 seconds remaining. Beautiful play action fake. They lure the underneath coverage up to the line of scrimmage. Good ball handling by Phillip Rivers. Watch 44 to the right of your screen. Page, see him take that one step toward the line of scrimmage is enough for Vincent Jackson to get behind him for an easy throw for Phillip Rivers. See, just that one step towards the line of scrimmage by Page, and he pays the price by allowing a touchdown for San Diego. The San Diego Chargers have come from behind here in the fourth quarter in Kansas City. San Diego's playoff situation was very straightforward. They needed a win to keep the pressure on Denver. Play clock just hit double zero as the Chargers will go for two. Offense, five yard penalty. We're on the try. So back it up here for San Diego as Rivers will look to get everybody on the same page. Phillip Rivers, 346 yards through the air, and the touchdown to go in front here in the waning moments of the fourth quarter. In many cases, you gotta ask, even if these Chargers believe that they've been able to come back and take the lead. Shotgun on the two-point try. Rivers throwing and incomplete. So San Diego will have to settle for the one-point lead. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kansas City has no timeouts to work with. And remember, we questioned whether or not Herman Edwards would go for it on a fourth and one, and the prudent call at that point was, no, you punt it, your defense has played well enough, but the sequence of events since have led us to this. 36 seconds to play. Kevin Robinson on the return. And Robinson stays on his feet. Able to accelerate to the 45-yard line and a 25-yard return. 31 seconds left. And now Tyler Thigpen and this Kansas City offense will take the field, hoping to give rookie kicker Connor Barth an opportunity to win this game. We told you at the top that Tyler Thigpen was a developing quarterback that had become a good quarterback that they could build this team around. But he has to find a way to win football games. Here is his opportunity. They need about 26 yards to try a 48-yard attempt. Thigpen out of the pocket. And Thigpen, clock is going to roll here out across midfield down to 22 seconds, 21. Chiefs have to spike it to stop the clock. 18 seconds left. They hurry up to the line and spike it with 15 seconds on the clock. The risk-reward there was not in Kansas City's favor with Thigpen electing to move out of the pocket and use clock. You have to throw the ball, even if it's an incomplete pass, because that would stop the clock. If you're going to run it, you got to take off toward the boundaries and make sure you can get out of bounds if you're going to take off and run it. Well, the other issue now is they have to get out of bounds even to get their field goal unit out onto the field for an attempt. And if you're San Diego, I think you have to smartly defend the boundary. Yes, you defend all the other potential areas where they can make the play, but you got to know if they throw the ball, they're going to throw it near the out-of-bounds mark. Time winding down over the middle, and they're not going to be able to stop the clock here. Gonzalez with the oh. catch. Six seconds, five seconds, down to three seconds, two oh, seconds. There's the flag. And a flag does come down. That did it because the official had the ball. He was trying to set it. And the San Diego Chargers essentially helped out the Kansas City Chiefs. Delay of game on the defense. Wow. Five-yard penalty. Not a smart play. Please put two seconds on the game clock. So they will put two seconds on the game clock. See, they knock over the official. And it's Antoine Casey. Number 20. He's a rookie out of Arizona. And one of the Charger players were holding the leg of Tony Gonzalez. Didn't want to allow him off the ground. And now Kansas City will go for the win. Connor Bart, a rookie out of North Carolina. 50-yard attempt. Kansas City. Can they win it here? Bart from 50 yards away. No good. San Diego holds on, and the Chargers still in the playoff chase in the AFC. 
Phillip Rivers and the San Diego Chargers come from behind. 22 to 21 is your final. Barth misses from 50 yards away to the left. We said the Chargers playoff hopes were on life support. They just received a dose of resuscitation. The missed kick allows the San Diego Chargers to escape Arrowhead with a win that was highly improbable, particularly as we head into the fourth quarter of this game. <laughs> North Turner and the San Diego Chargers escape Kansas City with a 22 to 21 victory. And now the pressure falls to the Denver Broncos to take care of business. Chargers remain alive 22 to 21. Coming up next, it's the second half of our doubleheader, the NFL on CBS. For Solomon Wilcox, the rest of our crew, this is Ian Eagle. So long from Kansas City. Some drama here. This is the NFL on CBS.